two things you can change in the DJI Spark camera settings are ISO and shutter speed. Hey guys, Chris Adon Tech here. Today we're gonna go flying out. It is roughly about golden hour. So today's vlog, we're gonna go out to uh, King's Landing. It's a very unique place. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some flying out there over the ocean and over the beaches. I'm gonna meet out with another another person who has a spark, Mr. Fuji. We are gonna do some flying down there. Beautiful day out. Can't wait. Two things you can change in the DJI Spark camera settings when flying manually are ISO and shutter speed. The DJI Spark has a fixed lens. I think it's a I believe it's a 2.8, so you can't adjust that unlike the, the Phantoms or the Inspire series. Uh, one of the nuances with flying manual mode is that because the spark has such short battery life i want you guys to set up the remote so that it's easily accessible the first thing i would really want you guys to do is make it easy for to change the exposure on this so by doing that you go into this this area right here where there's the three dots let's go in there and this is how i change my settings just go into the the third one from the top it's called the stick controller and here are the functions that you can change it to this is the fn button in the front and i usually set that to camera forward down for me that's that's the function i use the most and for the the next one the c2 button here on your top right uh, finger that you can access i set that to camera setting i just got accustomed to using that for the mavic and the pro since there was a wheel at that time dji again spark 2 put a wheel on there it's uh, much easier if you push the top right button the c2 i think it was then it pops up back and forth so if it just pops up just know that i'm pushing the button at the top and you should be able to hear it let's open that up go flip to film mode that's what i use primarily again these these applications apply to both the film and photography side of the house but i'll just be focusing on the film if once you click auto, you can see uh, it's kind of exposing for uh, for you. <laughs> so let's go to the camera shutter. It's this. There's two options once you're in the film mode here. I popped it up again once it's sunny. And on the left here, you can see it's in auto mode. We're gonna go to manual. And since we're outdoors and it's for, it's pretty sunny, um, I'm just gonna put it to 100. Um, 90% of your flying is going to be there. If you fly at sunset, you might be at 200. And as you can see, I'm also striped uh, the zebra settings, which basically shows overexposure, which means uh, things are bouncing up at the limits at 100% and the sensor doesn't know what to do with them. So when you view this on post, I'm just going to, I'm just going to record this really fast. You're going to notice anything that's white, it's going to be extremely white. I'll start recording. As you can see, it's it's extremely bright out there and I'll pop the screen up right here. Um, it's really bright. So 90% of the time you're going to fly at ISO 100. So that's going to be fixed and your uh, aperture on the thing is fixed at 2.8. So unless you have an ND filter, ND filters are essentially shades for your camera. Um, no, I'm not going to dive into that since I don't have them. I'm just trying to keep it simple. Let's just do this and let's just play the shutter. Let's just keep going down. As you can see, I will become more and more visible and that's how you know that's how i expose for the person um you can see me in the front right here uh but the the rear screen is still um there's some clouds in the background so as you can see our eyes do not work the same way as the camera i mean the sensor is very fairly small so it can only do so much say you want to look at the background all right so that's that's i'm showing you my backyard and let's uh Let's see what happens once we play with the setting here. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna keep going down, increasing the shutter speed. So that means less and less um, light is coming in. And as you can see, now you can start seeing clouds, probably at two, uh, about, about here, 1,000, 1,600. 
you expose for a subject so it's either going to be the background or it's going to be you and as of right now you cannot see me and again let's change that up again and let's go increase the shutter speed and voila i am exposed i'm gonna go on to proper exposure meaning your subject or um in the next i'm going to more detail as far as uh, getting the proper exposure in the next video iso is a sensitivity and shutter speed is um, how much light you let in for the blurness um, there is a basic rule that you don't want to go under one 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 sixtieth because of the spark shoots at 30 frames per second so you want to be one over two times that well oh, i'm getting too over detailed just know that this number right here shutter never goes under one or one over 60. so that was outdoors and let's say we are going to film in a dark room so that's what i'm showing you my downstairs right now go down here to 160th right as you can see i'm still dark it's still exposing for the background let's just focus on iso and let's increase that number 400 i'm still dark and this is what i am this i think this is what as good as it's gonna get um as far as not being grainy you can look here on the shot the shadows here no i'm facing the wrong way this shadow here okay here you're gonna notice it's gonna be shadowy anything dark it's going to be grainy any shadows is going to be grainy uh, when you start increasing the iso so let's bump it up to 800 and yeah i'm starting to look pretty good now so um, we can bump it up one more and now it starts to look like outside daytime um, at the expense of um, the graininess so you're gonna i want you guys to focus on any dark shadows that may have occurred down here, any blacks, that's where it's going to occur. And also you can notice there's some zebras that showed up. So that means certain aspects are being overexposed under here. This is actually blue. And you can see this is probably going to look white in the footage. Um, let's just go down one. So 800. As you can see, there, it, the, I think this would probably look much, much better when it comes to exposure so again um, before we i wrap everything up one iso uh, when you're outside use iso setting 100 when you're outside let's go iso 100 let's fix that and then basically let's uh dial the shutter speed that's your only variable that you can play with until you get the proper exposure for the person and similarly when you go inside if you're going to be indoors change this to 1 over 60 don't go any lower than that increase the iso up i'm going to go until 1 over 800 for demonstration purposes um if this is still too dark and you're pushing too high and you don't like the grainy look my recommendation is you put light uh, there's potholes yeah launched here <laughs> but uh there's some pretty cool places here to uh to fly over so it'd be really nice today thanks mr fuji for coming out and flying with me always a pleasure to have people join us get out there especially during golden hour today was a very rare treat especially when when flying it's normally raining but again thank you guys very much um, hopefully you guys learned something today uh, iso and it's the shutter speed play with that keep it simple yep i just want to make sure you guys aren't intimidated by the dji spark as um most people are when going into the manual settings. 
if I've kind of glazed over anything, I probably have. Leave a comment below and I'll try to address them in the next video. I'm learning it. I want to share my experience so you guys don't go through the same hassle as I do. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate you guys' support. You know, it's been a real pleasure producing this content for you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It would really help me move forward as far as producing this kind of content for you more. Stay tuned for any upcoming episodes. And as always, fly safe and mahalo plenty.